Hey there and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to use night laps on your GoPro Hero. Okay, so first of all, we have to get the camera to time-lapse mode and we do that by pressing the mode button on the side of the GoPro or you can also just swipe the screen and go fist full of video and then onto time-lapse. Okay, so once we get the time-lapse, we're going to select night lapse which is one of the settings here and then what we want to do is you want to press on the pencil just to the right side here so we can go to the settings now resolution we're going to chuck it on at 4k so it's going to take great footage um, even though it's at night time we still want to have uh, 4k you could go higher but we're going to try 4k uh, for this exercise the lens we're going to keep it on wide so we've got a nice great big view of the sky uh, format in this video we're going to keep it on video there is an option also to do it on photo but with photo what that means is that just prints off a photograph for every interval that uh, a photograph is taken which can take a long long time in edit it does look great by the way but in the editing part of things or the post it can be very time consuming so we're just going to keep it on night lapse video now we're going to have a look down here at interval we're going to keep the interval at auto, although if you wish, you can adjust that all the way up to um, 60 minutes. But we'll keep it on auto for our purposes. Now the shutter, because we're shooting at night, we want to try to get as much light into the camera as possible. So for this reason, we're gonna slide it all the way up to 30 seconds for our shutter. So that's how long the shutter's gonna be open for. Schedule capture, we won't worry about that. The duration, the timer is off. Uh, the zoom, make sure that's on one time zoom. So for the ProTune settings, we're gonna keep the bit rate at standard. For the white balance, we are gonna just make a slight adjustment to this one here. We're gonna bring it down to where it says, actually 3200 Kelvin is pretty good, but we're gonna try at 4000 Kelvin. We're gonna keep the sharpness down here at high, now, ISO, we're gonna have the minimum at 100, and the maximum we're gonna have it tonight is gonna to be at 800. You can go as high as 1600 with the GoPro, which does let in a bit of extra light, but it means you're gonna have more noise. So just to keep on the safe side, we're gonna have it at 800 for the ISO. Press that one back there. Sharpness, like I said, we're gonna keep that at high. Color, you can change that to flat if you wish. Um, I'm going to keep that on GoPro though because I do like the richness of the color. Once that's done, we are all good to go. All we need to do now is set it up on the tripod and get ready to shoot some night lapse video. Okay, great. So I'm set up out here in the backyard right now. So what I've done is I've got uh, a Manafrotto uh, tripod all set up. And on top of that, I actually have my GoPro Volta, which has got about two and a half batteries worth of charge in it. And that's actually uh, connected up to the GoPro. So this should be able to last hopefully all night and we'll get some great footage. Set up the camera, it's nice and level. And then I'm just gonna uh, pull it back and adjust it. So it's going to be shooting up at the sky. And already I can see a whole bunch of stars up there and I'm really, really hoping I'm gonna get some great footage tonight. The moon's over here as well too, so maybe it might actually make an appearance as well. Okay, so all we have to do now is press the uh, record button and now she's firing away. So as we said before, the shutter's on like 30 seconds, it's gonna take a shot. So we'll come back here in the morning and we'll have a look at our footage and we'll just see how awesome it looks. Hopefully, awesome it's gonna look, okay. All right, good morning. Well, it's about 10 minutes to nine, so I've left this out overnight and uh, everything's all powered down here. So all I gotta do now is just take it inside and check out the footage. Hopefully, hopefully, we've got some great footage of sky trails and the stars, and maybe even the moon in our footage.
okay, well, what did you think of that? I thought it'd come out not too bad. I started filming last night at 9.40 p.m. and the camera shut down at 5.49 this morning. And in, all in all, I ended up with 38 seconds worth of footage. This is my first time doing the night laps on the GoPro and I filmed the whole thing in my backyard last night. I live in a new estate, so there's not much street lighting. Uh, and that's probably part of the reason why I was able to kind of get some pretty decent colors there, uh, even though I filmed it in an urban setting. I really, really think it would look completely different and probably a lot better to film something like this in a country location. So uh, next time, I'm definitely gonna take it out bush and uh, do some filming of the night sky out there on a night lapse. I've included all the settings that I've used in this video down in the description below in case you wanna check them out. Okay, well, now it's over to you. Have you used night lapse on your GoPro? And if so, how did you go? What settings did you use? Let me know in the comments section down below as well. I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you've got some tips or tricks that can help make my next uh, night lapse video that little bit better. The GoPro is a super versatile camera. It's so much more than just an action camera. And I've actually done some other videos in the past on uh, time warp and also on time lapse that you might want to check out next. As usual, thanks for coming along for the ride. Really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it. And until next time, I'll see you later.